Hello there, welcome to Tectonic. In this one, what I'm going to do is show you two things really. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to change the page orientation of a whole document in Microsoft Word. And the second thing I'm going to do is show you how to change the page orientation of specific pages within a document in Microsoft Word. But before I do continue, please like, subscribe and share. So I've got a multi-page document opened up here, a three-page document to be exact, um, of some work I have been doing. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to change the page orientation of the whole document. And this is quite easy. So at the top in the ribbon here, you go to the layout view, which is this one here. Now in the layout view, you need to go to the page setup option and you'll see numerous um, options within that. And you need to choose orientation. This is where you change the page orientation. Currently the page orientation is set to portrait. So every page within that document will be shown as portrait. We want to change that from portrait to landscape. So all you simply do is choose landscape there. And you can see quite quickly, the orientation has changed. Every page is now landscape, which is brilliant. The second thing I'm going to do is you may find yourself, let me just undo that um, whilst you're watching. You may find yourself in a situation where you're creating a document. Um, some pages or most of the pages you want to be portrait, but there'll be occasions where one or two pages of that document you want to be shown as landscape. So you may have that situation. So in my document, my page, uh, three page document here, I want page two to be landscape, but page one and three to be portrait. What we do to enable this to happen is we create something called section breaks. Now the way to create section breaks and change the orientation of page two is follow these instructions. The first thing you need to do just after the last word on page one, move your cursor over after the last word and click there. So it's a, the point is flashing just after the last word at the end of page one. We're now going to add the section break after page one. So at the top, go back to layout. Then in the page setup options here, go to breaks here. You'll see a down arrow. Click on the down arrow and you will see lots of different options appear in the drop down. What we need to do is create a section break because we want to split um, page one from page two. So page two, it's its own entity. So we can change the orientation of that page um, um, without having to worry about page one. So we click next page because we want the section break to appear or this new section to appear on page two. So this is separated from page one now. Now leave the cursor pointing here before the first word on page two. And what we simply do to change the orientation, go back to layout here, go to orientation here, and from this drop down, change this drop down from portrait to landscape. And what you can see already, um, you can see page one is still portrait, but page two has changed to landscape. However, you can see everything following page two is also landscape. So you're, you've guessed correctly, um, what we need to do is create a further page break or a section break and obviously to make sure page two is independent from the other pages or the following pages. So you go back to your cursor, move it so it's after the last word on page two. Click on it so the point is flashing just after it and we're going to create another section break. So we go back to layout, go back to breaks and in there just after section breaks, click on next page again because we want that page or everything after page two to be independent from page two. So the point is now flashing on page three, go back to layout at the top, choose orientation and there choose portrait again. So what we can see now, um, everything following page two is in portrait mode or por in the portrait view. So page three and page four is now portrait and everything afterwards is gonna be portrait, however, page two is the only page there 
which is landscape. Now you can follow the same procedure if you want further pages to be landscape. If you go back to layout, go to breaks, add a section break, because that will mean you you will you are creating pages independent to the previous or the next pages. Make sure you follow that. Um, obviously, what I need to do with this document is format it so it reads or is accessible to whoever's reading, um, so it's easy to read. But that's just a quick and easy video showing you a how to change the orientation of a whole document and b how to change the page orientation of specific pages within microsoft word i hope this video has helped you please like subscribe and share